guys, welcome back. It's Nick the Booksmith. I don't have a ton of time today, but I wanted to tackle um, perhaps since we ended here, we could start back this way as far as um, putting the elements on them. So um, as I was um, trying to go to sleep last night, I was reading um, on my phone some of the comments and they're like, I need a closure. Like, okay, okay. You can have a closure. This was my thought though. Let me, let me tell you my thought. So um, I was, what I was gonna do is I was, I made an envelope and this was gonna be for my little stuff. And that's what was gonna go like in one of the pockets to hold, to hold my little stuff in. And then the rest of the stuff wasn't gonna be for tiny stuff. And honestly, you close that in there and then you close this. I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere. Like there's nothing's gonna fall out, All right? But, I will accommodate those of you who might want a closure. So let's talk about that. Where did I put my paper? Okay, so I took a piece of card stock. This happens to be Tim Holtz stuff. And um, it is about mm, three and a half inches tall by just shy of um, the width of this whole envelope. It has to fit, sorry, it has to fit down in here, okay? Because we're gonna be gluing the back of it onto that back wall, okay? So what I am going to do is I'm gonna go in about three quarters of an inch and I'm gonna score a line and then every, I don't know, quarter inch I'm going to score the whole middle um, to be like a little rounded spot. I'll be right back and I'll show you. Okay, can you see you see where I scored? So I left this flap right here so because that's where we're going to glue it down and then all these score lines here in the center which I made one, two, three, four, five, seven of them. This will accommodate the bulk over the top of our folder. Now, you're thinking, if I can hear you, why didn't I just, you know, make a score line and then make a score line and just, you know, have a little square, a square top like this? Well, that would not be good, and I will tell you why. Because let's say you don't have a ton of room and you have your little, your little lid, you're gonna put your lid on here. And let's say you have a square top and it's like out here and it doesn't allow you to cinch up the bulk inside the folder. Well, you're just gonna have this big old bulky thing and it's gonna be too big to fit to close up. So we want something that can be cinched up like a good corset or something. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of this flap and we're gonna glue that into the back of that wall. And of course, if you thought of this ahead of time, you could just made that, that backer piece that we slid in last thing. And the last, the last step, this, this backer piece, you could have just made it longer and then you wouldn't be having to put a backer in. So, I mean, a lid, a lid, a lid, the lid, the lid, the lid. Oh, if anybody knows what that's from, huge brownie points for you. <laughs> the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid. Oh, I'll wait for you all to comment. We'll see if anybody gets that. One of my favorites. So, so there's that, right? So there's that. And to be able to close this, of course I should have done this before I closed it all down, but apparently forethought is not my, you know, not my strong suit today. I'm going to measure approximately, it's four and a little over four and three quarters. So we're about, we're sitting about right there for the middle. Ah. And I have some little circles, some little circles. And what I'm going to do is, let me, let me punch a hole in the middle of this circle. This is craft card stock. I will uh, put a link down below to the, um, 
the pen pal folio thingy so that you can see um, how to make the little circle string closure. I'm not going to do that totally on this one. I'm going to do a little bit of a variation, but I will show you. So I'm going to punch a corresponding hole there. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab an eyelet and put it there. And then th through some magic, I'm going to drop everything. This is why it should be done before you glue it on to the back. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's like, there's like the tree trimming people are right outside and I'm, it, I was distracted and well, you know, and I'm gonna just squeeze. If you have one of the handheld ones, they're a little bit easier to do it that way. And then the corresponding one will be down here. Oh, about right, about right there. So we're gonna do that, but we're not gonna do one of these. It's gonna be a little bit, a little bit different. So for this one, let me get an awl. I am just going to poke a hole. Like that. And then also this one gets a hole poked in it as well. Like that. And I have these really cool little um, metal brads. And look, they have like little screw tops. <laughs> it's so cute. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna feed the bottom through here. And let me find my string. And before I close this down, I'm gonna feed that through there. I'm gonna take the string and I'm going to tie it around the, the little the little brad feet here. So here, like that. Okay, so this is another way you can do these. You just shove a brad through a piece of cardstock and then you tie a piece of string around the little, the little neck of the feet there. And then you feed it through here, through the hole that we just made. And you just stick your little paws down in there. And those little feet get spread in um, to hold that brad down. Just like that. And then that way when you close it up like this, then you just take your string and it fits around this one. And then you can loop it back and forth. And you could totally, if you had enough brads, you could totally do it on both of them. I really like the way, instead of the eyelet, I like the way that looks, don't you? Doesn't that look cool? I'm gonna see if I can find another one of these because I think I have a little package of them and I'm gonna fit one through here so that they match. So anyway, so anyway, you can, you see how that squishes that down? See how that squishes that down into a nice um, little snug, uh, pouch instead of it being really super bulky. So how's that? Is that is that is that bueno? So that's what that will be for. Let me put this here. And now it's all attached in like that. The only thing is, is that now um, it would be more difficult to put little tabs like this, like on top of your of your folder, because this would, might squish them. So. We will just we'll just do something else, and I am going to grab my ink pad and rub just a little bit of ink along the top of this first one, which totally could have been done, you know, ahead of time, but I didn't. D didn't do it. Y'all saw me. You all are my witnesses that it just didn't get done. That's okay. Not everything has to be inked and sewn, right? You're going, Pff, I don't even know who you are anymore, woman. Who are you? It's like pod people taking over Nick the Booksmith. You're not inking and sewing everything. <gasps> okay. So there is that. And you can close that if you want to decorate it closed. But let me show you some of the things that I got out. 
some little labels, some little stamps, some nice grungy old paper, and some more labels. And this one is from one of my kits that you can print on the Avery, um, you know, the sticker paper, the mailing paper. And so are these. These are the little, the little tiny Denison, and then this is the bigger one, which you can write on those two. And then these are just printed on paper. So, but what I think I would like to do, I'm going to kind of snug that up so it doesn't go anywhere. So I kind of have a, a, a game plan of where everything's going to be sitting when it's shut. So I would like this label down in here like this. And you could totally do a real metal label. If you have a cool metal label, by all means, please use it. That would rock. And I've got some little um, printed out, uh, here we go, some little words printed out that could be put over the top or some number quotes in there. So we could do that too. But I like this one that says confidential. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sticker off the backer paper today, today, today. There it goes. And I'm gonna pop this sucker right here. So cute. And then I'm gonna take this confidential label And that will go over, over the top, like that. But if you like your handwriting, go ahead and write on some labels. I don't trust my handwriting, so that's probably not going to happen. So there's the little confidential tag that goes there. And then I was thinking about doing maybe a little Denison. And then there is the this storage label. It is kind of super cute. And maybe it could get tucked under here and kind of be hiding halfway um, behind the, the lid. The lid, the lid, the lid. Let's see. And I got this one too. Just got to be careful because this is the scored place here. That'll be bending. So um, anything that you put on top of that has to be able to bend as well. What I might do is put one maybe here or maybe on this side. And I'm going to put a number quote on it or a number, one of the little number thingies. The number thingies. Okay, where it is? I should have got one out. just got home a bit ago. I had a bunch of errands I had to run and bills to pay and I had to do some adulting this morning and well that ended up being into the afternoon and uh, kind of took up the majority of my day. And now my head hurts. I have a wicked headache. I'm gonna have to go take some aspirin of some sort. Or maybe chug a big huge glass of water and See if that makes it go away first before I take anything. Sometimes I don't like to take stuff. I'd rather see, sometimes you have a headache because you're dehydrated, right? So sometimes it's good just to chug some water and see if that makes it go away. I might try to do that first. I think I'm gonna put this little, this little sticker on. And where is, I'm going to put a little number, boop, 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 that one will fit. Yes, it will if I trim the excess edge off. There we go. So I'm going to put this little number on top of this label. And then I'm going to put some glue on the back. And I'm just going to kind of pop it right there. A little askew and then 
I'm going to take this one. Storage label. And this one is going to kind of get tucked under here so that part of it is obscured by the lid that comes over. Oops. I like that. So now we have Now we have some labels on the front of our little our little accordion folder. Now if you want to do something on the inside, please do so. You can still cut out little these little tab labels. You just put them down on the inside where you can see them but where they don't stick up a whole bunch. Where it is? Or like this this old grungy paper that I got out you can totally um, make labels out of some grungy paper and stick those right inside too. So on this one, I'm going to put I'm going to put one of these little words on top of this little grungy paper label. Just like that. And you can ink the edges or not ink the edges. And you could start, you could put one here and then work your way in if you wanted. Which I think would be adorable. And I'm just going to put it up close to the top edge of the f each folder. Does that sound like a plan? There's another piece of paper. Oh, let me zoom out. Woo. There it goes. There's that one. So there's Remember. Here's Observation. Here's Chronicle. Let's do Chronicle. Oh, let's do Observation first. And then Chronicle. My glue is oozing out all over the place. Stop it. So that will go on this one. I will trim it short. Like that. And then this one might go on this side just cuz so do you see that so that one's on that side and then let's do one more just for giggles just for giggles I remember a long time ago well I guess I don't know how long ago it was at least a year somebody had made the comment <laughs> It was one of my mean my mean comments somebody made to me. Well, I don't know if it was mean. I think it was kind of meant to be mean. Um, something about how, why do I sound um, G-rated? Or I'm trying to remember how they put it. Um, they they were trying they were trying to allude to the fact that um, everything was I don't know like like I could be talking to kids. Or something and I'm like well kids do watch me <laughs> I know they watch me because I've been told that they watch me so it's like yes we're gonna keep it you know family friendly here um, is you know I mean sometimes I say stuff that's you know out there but for the most part we're, we're, we're family friendly here um, sometimes I talk about you know bras or something that like a little boy might go what what's a bra um, <laughs> But I used to, um, I used to substitute, like, I was like a full-time substitute for um, the elementary school where my daughter went. And I don't know, I just, that's, uh, I did it for so long that I kind of got accustomed to um, speaking, 
G-rated. <laughs> Not that I was speaking R-rated before, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's like it teaches you really, like it puts that filter on for sure. I try to, I try to be, you know, cool if kids watch me. I don't want their mothers to be clamping their hands over their little kids' ears. Oh, don't listen. That would be awful. Okay. See, the squirrels are everywhere today. It's been a day, guys. It has been a day. So, see the little labels that are in there? I think those are just as cute as, like, tabs sticking up. And these still, if you wanted to make envelopes for each one, you could still make an envelope and stick it inside each one because each one could be its own little, you know, own little compartment and have its own little folder envelope thingy on the inside, right? Oh, I think it's cute. I think it's pretty darling. So I'm not going to put anything in here right away because we will we will shove this thing full at the end. Tie a little knot in that just to. There we go. So there is your accordion folder with a lid because you wanted a lid. Heaven knows I'm going to make you happy, right? So you have a lid and an enclosure, but you don't have to put it on if you don't want to. Um, let's see, the next time we will move along to, um, we'll start on this one, this one. I keep moving stuff out of frame. You'd think I had never made a video before. <laughs> so we will work on this one and we will um, start adding elements to each each page. Does that sound like a good idea? A good idea? All right guys, sorry that this one was kind of short. I just um, like I said, my day got my day got sucked away by other you know other responsibilities. Adulting. another perfectly good day ruined <laughs> by responsibility, right? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by for very, very quick part seven. And I will see you really soon for the part eight video. Bye, guys.